Welcome back to some more Catan Universe. I've been away from it for a while. And I know that's been a mistake because these videos are my bread and butter of my YouTube channel because pretty much across the board, all my Catan videos have done way better than all my other videos. Except for the Blockus video. That video has done surprisingly well and it like keeps getting more views. Which is crazy. But anyways, we're playing the scenario, the Oasis in uh, Seafarers. Or actually, it has a, it's O-A-S-E-S, -E so maybe I'm smelling, or saying that wrong, but anyways, in this unorthodox challenge, we will be building on as many desert tiles as we can, and as you see, there's already a lot of them revealed, but there's more of them that have, are about to be revealed, just like that one right there, that uh, gray Amber Francis revealed. So, we will also be winning the game because you can do these unorthodox challenges, but what makes them challenging is for you to also win the game. So yeah, it's pretty fun. And I, I got like, I got some Catan videos, like ideas of videos to make. And I just gotta keep like, keep the imagination flowing because it's fun. I get views on them. Like it'll grow my channel, it's, it's just, Right now, it just seems textbook to me, so I just got to do it. And red finds the, I think, no, this there was two gold on this map. He finds the hot six gold, and later I'm going to find the ten gold. But this man is so lucky, and he was like, I was kind of scared he was going to win the game along with gray. They were doing pretty well. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Enjoy the rest of the video because I'm going to receive an unexpected FaceTime call from a lady. I know, yeah, right. You know, like gamers uh, getting FaceTime calls from ladies, but um, she's pretty beautiful, so I'm going to be chatting with her. What's up? Hi. Um, Wait, your face you... is really close to the screen. Do you know that? It's because I'm on my laptop. Oh, okay. Because you're like here. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, whatever. Alright. No, that's cool. Just letting you know. So you're a lightweight? But, um. So how much can you do? I think. Let's say it's the bar's 20. And I have, um. One on each side? That sounds about right. I think that's what's on there. So what is that? 60? Yeah. It's pretty pretty uh pretty weak, isn't it? I just I just started, you know, it's it's the new year, you know, like <laughs> resolution that everybody does, but then they give it up after like two weeks. But like I'm gonna stay strong. Are you? Yeah. Like, both in my goal and, like, you know, physically. Okay. So, yeah, we'll see. Do you have a specific goal? Um, I want to be able to bench more than 100 pounds. Because I think, I think if, once you get in the triple digits, then, like, you can kind of feel good about yourself. He got a ticket for having alcohol mm -hmm. while underage, and he got a DWI, whatever that means. Yeah. Hmm. Like with my family, but they think I am, and that's like the worst time for me because it's just it's the opposite of what's actually happening. And there's, and I'm I'm laughing at the absurdity of it, and there's no way I can convince them that I'm like just trying to be like normal and have a normal conversation. Can you just tell me what? Okay, so like, but um, but yeah, that's the, I'm sure you probably don't have that's any experience bad. like that, but like, it's, it's really bad when you're not trying to be like, sassy or silly with your parents, but they think you are, and there's no way you can like, convince them that you're not, so. Alright, I'm sorry, Meg, I didn't mean to... 
embarrass you. <laughs> My dad's in uh, Iraq right now. No, oh. Yes, he is. Oh. <laughs> Where's Baghdad? He, I, I watched him. I watched him look at the weather at Baghdad. That's where he is. do this but like I took um, macroeconomics and microeconomics at the same time and I'm pretty sure that like macro builds on micro so I'm not sure why I did that no they're, they're two different things micro is just like focused on like people and like small and businesses and like communities and macro is like the big picture I don't uh. think they build off each other Okay, because I, I could have sworn that's what my um, professor said, but, I mean, either way, it was, I think I did pretty well. But yeah, it was pretty interesting. It's not interesting to me. Yeah, my teacher, like, the reason I said he made it interesting is because he would, like, tell us, like kind of tell a story um or give like the like like tell like a real story that happened and he would tie it in so like this one i remember in particular in sometime in the 1900s we could we could say like 60s because i actually can't remember at all but um like they it was like okay what happens if the the government like fixes or puts like a like a price ceiling on the rent so like everybody has to pay um like sixteen hundred dollars worth of rent and um so then like it was all these poor people in the city and they're like we cannot pay this like this is so much and um so the landlord was like well nobody is like staying in my in my apartments now so like this sucks and then um, basically all these like people like they had to like leave anybody who were staying there who couldn't afford it like this high price now just because the government like pulled this magical number out of a hat to try to make the area or like the economy better and so like all the people living there were like we can't pay this so they burned down the apartment because they were like pissed off and so what? like yeah and so it's like tying in how like if you just have to let like the free market do its thing and like sort out the price so like you have people staying but they're like paying enough to make it worth it to the landlord because if you just like have the government come in and just like say oh you have to pay this because we said so people might just Burn the burn the house down. Hello. How are you? Good. What have you been doing? Any chores? He was just working out. How are you been? You might have a snow day tomorrow. I know. I kind of hope so. But then again, it's like there's been so many snow days and breaks. I have not been able to get back in, into my routine. I know. You know? Yeah. I had to be working. So I guess I'm... Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, you don't. I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, with all the cold weather and all this craziness, we have to be, I had to be there at 5 o'clock this morning. Oh my gosh. Several times because of cold to make sure the bus is going to start and delays an hour early. It's been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was really bad. Like, I slept for like a day straight. Uh huh. But I'm better now. They said as a. I always get sick at least once. Yeah, I have a little bit, but not not anything big time. I hate to be sick. I mean, I I hate I can't 
If I tell myself, no, I'm not going to be sick. I hate to be sick. No. Nope. I think you follow through. Yeah. And she doesn't care. She's walking around. You know, I'm just waiting for her to something to happen. But she loves it. Did you it. know our, our puppy broke her leg? Oh, the little one? Yeah. Oh, how? Um, so I have, we have a little dog, Harper, and a big dog, Maggie. And they were both at the top of the stairs. <gasps> and I guess Maggie wasn't paying attention and accidentally, like, oh, no. pushed Harper down the stairs. Um, it happened, like, in October, though. So she's had the cast on all this time. Oh, my um, gosh. Yeah, but she's getting it off in a couple weeks. So she's okay? But it was very traumatizing to my mom. Yeah, she's okay. Oh, because she's she's just a baby, right? Yeah, she was just a puppy. Oh, no, but wow. Harlan's spoiled, too, you know. <laughs> what you mean? Very spoiled. Really? Yeah, packing your lunch, washing your clothes. Oh, mom, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> spoiled. Yeah, what are you gonna do when when it's time to move out? Right, he won't know how. I don't to, know. He'll he'll have to swing by and pick up his lunch. <laughs> yeah. And bring his clothes over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my they know God. how to wash them, but they don't do it. I mean, they'll bring them up and fold them and all that, but they don't put them in the water. You know. Yeah, it's a family effort. <laughs> yeah. He'll all, do, he'll do, do stuff if I ask him, but. They're not like right on it, the chores, so it's a little, you know, kind of doing a lot. Since like in the box, so I'm, uh, I'm assuming that's what it was. And it wasn't a vape, but I did see a little bit of smoke come up. Yeah. And I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. Did you than, smell it? I didn't smell it. No. I didn't, and the window was cracked, so I was like, hmm. I don't know. They always try to get away with something, you know. But other than that, was it good? Yeah, it was good. They had a, they had a really good time. They all dressed up and went to East East Moon, right next to the theater. Yeah, yeah. It was really. I saw pictures. Somebody posted pictures on Instagram. A program that you pay by month, so the the class is self paced, but you pay each month. So like. The longer the class takes, the more expensive it's going to be. Does that make sense? Oh, so it's like an incentive to get it done as quick as you can? Yeah. Gotcha. So how far along are you? I've only finished the first module, and there's ten modules. Ooh, I do not, I don't like that word, Ma. 